that's cool. The Abbey Grange Fair? Betcha that's our next case, and I just got an achievable, finished the bloodbath. Here, I'll make it better for everybody here. What's this? An om omnivorous reader received three messages from those whom you condemned or absolved. What are that messages? Um... Go guys. We'll all get our monies back. The game of the foot, not a word. Into your clothes and come. Is it from Watson? What sleeping? I'll wait for you in the sitting room. I've just received a note from Inspector Lestrade. A letter from the suburbs. He is in need of my presence. Whenever he has asked for my assistance, it has always turned out to be entirely justified. I fancy that every one of his cases has found its way into your collection. Uh, yes, they all seem worthy of... However, I regret your fatal habit of looking <laughs> at everything from the point of view of a story instead of a scientific exercise. Oh, Holmes, you... Totally. I beg your pardon, I digress. It would be much better to examine this letter than to try to convince you. Ooh, I got to keep the silver cast of the Mithras Ritual Knife. Yay! What's this? Oh, there's the Fate of Black Peter. That's the first one we did. Dangerous doesn't. Oh, there we go. The Riddle on the Rails and Bloodbath, which is the last one we just did. Um, do I have. There's the dog. What's up, dog? Why aren't you sleeping on your bed? Oh, that is not at all what I wanted to do. That was my bed. I agree with you, Toby, that Watson's shoe is preferable to Mrs. Hudson's cold cuts. The letter is on the table, Holmes. You should take. Letter. Mr. Holmes. T oh, this is Blinkhorn. This is the guy that we just absolved. Today is the very first time that I have been allowed to write a single letter, and you are the first person whom I would wish to address. I repent, repent at all that I have done, but at the same time, I find myself grateful for your uncovering the truth. It has given me an enormous life lesson. Also, thank you for my conditional sentence. For soon, I may be able to live a fulfilling life once again and not be condemned by society. Welcome. I didn't even realize we got letters, guys. I feel kind of bad. Oh, this is with the missing train. I won't. Spoiler alert if you haven't already watched it on my YouTube channel. Plug your ears. As of yesterday, the Mexican consortium Caracal began serving the cause of the British Empire. This arrangement is undeniably profitable for London and England overall and is a great achievement for our exceptional diplomatic and political community. In other news, a train has mysteriously disappeared en route. <laughs> we found that train. No worries. All right, what else we got? The grotesque murder of the former Captain Peter Carey, known in private as Black Peter. So this is the first case we solved. Again... If you haven't gotten caught up on my YouTube page, plug your ears if you don't want spoilers. The evidence that Scotland Yard received from a trustworthy source was more than sufficient to conclude that the murder of Peter Carey was Patrick Kearns, one of Carey's former harpooners. In fact, the dangerous criminal was caught single-handedly by the brave Inspector Lestrade, Lestrade in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. Patrick Carnes is now sentenced to death. Oh, he sentenced him to death. Terrible. The letter is on the table, Holmes. You should take it. On. I'm checking all the tables. Oh. <laughs> Which table? A wax seal with the monogram E B. Okay. The Brackenstall family coat of arms. Okay. Oh, it looks like 
Hal has made another bank heist, if anyone is interested. I can tell from Lestrade's handwriting that he was in a hurry when he wrote this letter. Can I open it now? Dear Mr. Holmes, I should be very glad of your immediate assistance in what promises to be a most remarkable case. It is something quite in your line. Except for releasing the lady, I will see that everything is kept exactly as I f have found it. But I beg you not to lose an instant, as it is difficult to leave Sir Eustace there. I have no idea. Let's go find out. So, what is it, Holmes? Promising, as always. It appears to be a case of murder. Murder? Do you that Sir Eustace <gasps> is dead? I should say so. Lestrade wouldn't have sent for me for less. His writing shows considerable agitation, and he is not an emotional man. These people belong to high society. The quality of the writing paper, the E.B. monogram, their coat of arms. The crime was committed before midnight. <laughs> Holmes, how can you possibly tell? Well, it is all thanks to Lestrade. He wrote his letter at 3.30 in the morning. Imagine the chain of events before that. The local police had to be called in. Scotland Yard was notified. Lestrade himself had to make haste there and finally compose the letter he sent to me. All of that makes for a fair night's work. It makes sense. Lestrade also speaks of the woman he released. That seems to indicate that she had been held somewhere during the crime. Cameron! Has been wasted. Let us we got 225 danger diamonds, man. Woo woo! Soul survivor, I think. In hope of an interesting morning. All right. Go see what this murder. We're starting a brand new case, everybody. So if you're just joining us, you are just in time. We haven't even gotten to the crime scene yet. All I know is we're pretty sure someone's been murdered. It's really kind of a sad thing to get excited about, isn't it? Hmm. You're getting tired? I'm getting kind of sleepy too. It's actually getting kind of dark in here. I'm pretty sure that's part of it. Ah, Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson, here you are. I'm very glad that you have come, but perhaps I should not have troubled you after all. And why is that? Lady Brackenstall has come to her senses, and she has given so clear an account of the affair that there is not much left for us to do. You remember that Lewisham gang of burglars? What, the three Randalls? Exactly. The father and two sons. It's their work. They stole a silver service, which is of great value. Sir Eustace Brackenstall is dead, then? Yes. His head was knocked in with his own poker. A violent act Ooh. of aggression. Yes, the poor lady. She has had a most dreadful experience. She was assaulted and tied to a chair. But I think that you would best see her and hear her account of the facts. She is in the morning room with her maid, to raise a right. Where is the body of the deceased? In the dining room. We haven't touched anything. All right. I'm going to examine it. Very good, Watson. Back the room where Lady Brackenstall is still resting. Lord Ramsay Brackenstall. Is that the right room? Ladies, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting Inspector Lestrade in this investigation. Mr. Holmes, I am the wife of Sir Eustace Brackenstall. We were married only a year ago. I am sorry for your loss. Please accept my well, deepest sad. condolences. Well, that's sad. A year ago. I suppose that it is no use my attempting to conceal that our marriage has not been a happy one. 
I fear that all would tell you that, even if I were to attempt to deny it. Can you describe to me the events of yesterday evening? Is it really necessary? I have already told Inspector Lestrade all that happened. Yes, madam. Are you sure she didn't kill her husband because her husband tried to, like, so kill her? So just retired about half past ten. I sat in this room until after eleven, absorbed in a book. Before I went upstairs, I entered the dining room to fetch a candle and... Oh, God. Please, go on. As I approached the French window, I found myself face to face with an elderly, broad-shouldered man who had just stepped into the room. Close behind the first man, I saw two others. One of them struck me a savage blow with his fist and felled me unconscious to the ground. And then? When I came to myself, I found that they had secured me tightly to a dining room chair. It was at that instant my unfortunate husband entered the room. He fought with the intruders? Yes, I think he had hurt them, for he was holding his stick. But they were three, and he eventually succumbed. One of them, the elder one, struck him a terrible blow with the poker. I fainted once more. When I opened my eyes, they had withdrawn. Then my brave Teresa came to my assistance. Hmm. Did these three villains steal anything? Yes. I found that they had taken the silver from the sideboard. But you can see for yourself in the dining room. Alright, so for those of you that watch Sherlock, you know he can look at somebody and like, bam, he knows their life story. This is what we're gonna do right now, except it takes us a little bit longer. Old bruises on her hand. Yeah, I'd you say he tried. You that your marriage was not a happy one. Was there anything specific that was troubling you? He was not a nice man when he was drunk. And he suffered from dark moods, but nothing else. The bruises Lying. on hands are at least one week old. Your husband caused those bruises? Oh, do you? Yes, he did. He was very angry at the time. Out of control. Again. Sir Eustace was a drunkard. To be tied to such a man for life is worse than death. Your ladyship? <laughs> Alright, what are you supposed to tell us now? Teresa. I would like to hear your testimony. Certainly, sir. As I sat by my bedroom window, I saw three men in the moonlight down by the lodge gate. But I thought nothing of it at the time. Oh, if I'd known. And then? I went to bed, and it was more than an hour after that I heard my mistress scream. And down I ran, to find her tied to the chair and him on the floor with his head smashed. That's all I know. Sure about that. Let's find out your life story. Bulls. We search for clues. Newspaper. So this is talking about the people that they think did it. The Randalls. Um. The description of the Randall gang provided by Lady Brackenstall 
is identical to the one in the Times article. So maybe she read it from the Times article? And I don't know. I still think the lady killed her husband because he was beating her. We already know he hit her because of the old um because of the old bruises. Hmm. So I bet you These she killed him. Are most definitely made by the picture frame. Let's move the picture. First baseball practice this was today. That's awesome. There may be something important 